Bring in Fig Securities' Simon Michelle for more on what's going on in bond markets. And it, of course, it's about what's going on for, for the British referendum. We've been talking about it all day. No doubt we'll talk about it a lot more this week. But Simon, how are bond markets faring now? Are they, are they pricing in the Remain vote to get ahead? Good afternoon, Ingrid. And, and yes, as you've seen that recent polling come out and uh, look like the uh, leave vote uh, is, or uh, de well, demand for leave votes decreasing, Remain looks a little bit more likely. Mm. You've seen that flight to safety that we saw last week, uh, pushing demand for bonds up, pushing yields into record low territory. The Aussie 10 year hit 2%, for example. That's pulled back. Uh, yields are up, bond prices drop down a bit. And as you can see in the equity markets, uh, investors taking on a little bit more risk at the moment. Something we haven't spoken about yet is, um, of course, RBA minutes. They're out tomorrow as well. I mean, are you expecting anything market moving in those ones? I think the market will be looking for uh, some commentary from the RBA, given that we saw that increase in, uh, sorry, decrease in the cash rate in May. We've had quite a bit of global volatility. I know a lot of it's related to the Brexit, but you still have the US uh, unable to move mm. uh, in June as well. So I think there's, there's definitely a lot to look at there. And I think the market will be looking at very keenly at what the RBA has to say on the, the back of that uh, minutes. Simon, Tony Davison from Henderson Maxwell here. Just interested in your perspective and casting your mind forward to Friday morning and post the vote and some of the results coming in. What's your view on how bond markets, particularly the corporate issues, are likely to respond if there were to be a remain vote versus if there were to be an exit vote that was successful? Are we likely to see a sell-off in either situation in your view? Yeah, good day, Tony. Look, I, I would expect that. I think that the market's really uh, sought some safety in the lead-up to this. I think uh, that's been reflected in uh, the yield movements we've seen as, uh, you know, demand has increased for bonds. <laughs> and that's had quite a big impact globally. Obviously, we heard about, you know, German 10-year bonds hitting, hitting negative territory as well. So quite a bit of risk in there. I think if you do get a Remain vote, you're likely to see a lot of that un unwind. A lot of people more comfortable go back out and mm -hmm. invest in the market. So I would expect to sell off in the bonds. All right. So, Michelle, we'll leave it there with you. Appreciate your time, though. Thank you. Thanks, good. So, Michelle there from Fig